Hello, welcome to Junk Journal Gems. This is Lisa. Thank you for joining me today. I have lots, lots of excitement to share with you. So I've got a, a haul where it, it may become evident, it, it may become evident that I, I might have a problem, but I love my thrifting and antiquing. And yesterday my husband was so sweet. He came and picked me up, um, left his hunting post early yesterday to collect me and take me to an antique mall that was having a sale. And while he was exploring, I, I went a little nuts. I went a lot nuts. So I'm going to share with you what I was able to find. And I'll also say this now before I forget later in the video, I will be posting some of these items on my Etsy shop at Junk Journal Gems on Etsy. So I'll, I'll try to remember to link that in the video. So let's get going and see all the goodness that I found. I found this very pretty um, I don't know, would you call this a doily? It seems bigger for, for it to be called a doily, but look at how beautiful the crocheted laces on that. So pretty. So this can be used in all sorts of ways on a junk journal. So I'm looking forward to, to using that. Then there are three of these doilies, which are really in good condition. Um, so these can be used also in many, many different ways. Um, very pretty. There are three of these. Some lace fabric, and I have another bundle just like this of lace fabric, so never have enough lace, do we? This is a package I've not even dove into yet. Let's see what's in here. That's some different lace. Wouldn't that be interesting to use? Cut out maybe the roses or just use it on a cover. Some different little widths and snippets there. Then this, oh, this is wider. You, again, you could cut this up or use it as is. So wide variety of ways to use this. It's more of that same lace fabric. This is in pieces. Hmm. Fun. Here's another package of oh goodness. Ooh. Little treasures down in there. What is this? It's like a little flower. There's several of them, a couple of them anyway. Flowers that could be used. I have to press those and see what I can do with that. That's fun. This looks like the beginnings, perhaps, of a pot holder. How sweet. I've never learned to crochet. I wish I had. I tried and failed. <laughs> multiple times it's like driving a stick shift I never could do that either it's become like the family joke oh I love these look at these one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven of these how fun is that that's got my creative juices flowing Ooh, that's fun. Oh, isn't this sweet? Good. Aw, love that. There's another one like that one. It's got some discoloring on there, but you know what? I kind of like that. It saves me from grunging something up. There's more of these, very same thing. Very pretty. I love those. Here's some more of those little flower things. Hmm. Oh, that's cute. That can be. Oh, it's a letter. It's the letter R. Hmm. 
There's a little piece. Oh, I love that. Amazing. Two of those, some more flowers, and the flowers keep coming. Here's a bigger square. I love when they come in snippets like this because then I don't feel badly cutting it up a little bit or using smaller portions in different ways. I hope you can see this okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so sweet. Hold that up. Can you see that? Very cute. Look at this little piece. I think I have that backwards, but no. I have such a hard time telling when something's right side up or upside down because I don't do this kind of work. You should see me trying to figure out what way lace goes on a journal. Very pretty. I'm glad I picked that up. What's this one? Is another package? Ooh, that's different. Like that. It's quite a bit of that there. Here's some some lace. This is very soft. It's quite a bit of that too. This is very soft. And then this. Aww. That's pretty. And then this I thought was amazing. This has got to be like 25 yards of this trim. It's kind of thick. So I was wondering if a person could use this on the binding of a journal. How cool is that? Very cool. And then this, there's quite a bit of this. It's on the stiff side, which means it might glue down really nicely because it would stay put. Can you see that okay? Very delicate. Cool. There's a lot of that too. All right. You can see this here. Whoops. My bad. These are some quilt squares that I picked up and I just loved the fabric pieces on the squares themselves just loved it I don't even mind when there's a little mark on them I don't know if anybody knows like what kind of year or time frame these fabric pieces would be from I'd be interested in learning oh look at that I love red I wear a lot of red Oh, I love this too. My mother is a quilter. Um, she's a very good quilter. I've quilted. I am not the perfect quilter that my mother is. Um, she will tear something apart and do it again if it's not perfect. I don't have that kind of patience. I think that's why junk journaling appeals to me more than quilting or sewing bigger projects. These are so pretty. I just love these. Whoops, I skipped over one. Another purple. These are pinks and some muted reds. I love this. More black mixed in. They had an eye for mixing the fabrics, didn't they? Whoever put this together. Oh, I love greens. I collect green depression glass pretty oh oh this is like a big square oh fun 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 i'll leave that out here so you have something to look at maybe the yellow the yellow is showing up really bright all these colors actually are showing up very bright on camera they're not quite this bright in person. They're a little more faded, not a lot, but they're not, this yellow is not as bright. I would say it's a little bit more in the butter tone here in person than it is. And I'm looking at the back here, 
this is not yellow either this is a cream color so all right let's see I've gone through all of the fabric items I think so now we'll go through some of the other things I got this old bag of green buttons and some of these in here are so interesting so I want to do because of my love of um, jade green dishes or the jadeite things um, the green depression glass um, the green and cream handled um, cooking utensils I would like to do a journal that has that kind of green jadeite theme to it so that's why I picked these up thought that'd be fun another bag of buttons I also like to use these button items as ephemera pieces in sewing journals I'm making some sewing journals right now so I think that's why I was drawn to these here's some more green I had to pick this one up just because of the green there's more buttons in there I think there's one two three four five different packs in here I did not pay what was listed on the cover oh goodness how are you supposed to get it open Woo. here's the green god I love those some gray with almost a marbled hue to them. Cool. Black, kind of a charcoal black. Big white buttons. These are interesting. Huh. Fun. All right. There's those. Here is a little older notebook a vintage notebook that I thought was kind of cool and it was not the price that's on here so I picked it up but that's different isn't it mailing sealer hmm I've never seen anything like that so I thought it was pretty cool more buttons more buttons 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 Some of these are sealed, so <laughs> no one's getting in them. What's that one? Jewel tone, it says. Jewel tone. Big brown buttons. Oh, I like the color of these. White buttons. I use these a lot. What else? Some applique items. Can you see that? Whoops. That's cute. And little flowers. This I thought was really cool. Jelly labels. I've never seen anything like this. I thought these would be, they're like little lick em, stick em stickers. Raspberry, my favorite. You could use these in a cooking journal how fun these I just picked up because they basically were nothing but I thought they were cool little travel brochures with maps let's see I can't find a year on this 1955 there's two of them I just thought it was kind of neat I've never seen one like this Restaurants at list, curiosities. Neat. I like it. Then I made a mini haul on bingo cards. So these will go in my shop. Some of them will go in my shop. So these are fun. Do these give a year? 41. 1941. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Look at this. Can you see that? Okay. I'm going to see if I can. It's not letting me pan out. So I hope you can see this okay. 
The book is not in good shape, and I'm obviously not going to use the book as is. But what I loved about it is the images and the maps in here are amazing. Look at that. I just loved it, and I got it for a really good price. So, in the print, the paper feels smooth and soft at the same time, maybe. But it's just chock full of maps. So, that I thought was very cool. Very cool. Fun, fun. Isn't this why antique mauling or thrifting just makes it so much fun? That was a fun find. I picked these up just because I like to use the images in journals sometimes, the ideals magazines. Um, so if you're ever antiquing or thrifting and you get an opportunity to pick up the ideals, these work really well in journals they have beautiful images look at that just good good stuff look at oh beautiful in an autumn journal right i decided this year i wasn't doing an autumn journal because squirrel i didn't have my act together early enough and i thought by the time i did one and got it posted it would be too late oh isn't that fun Gosh, this just reminds me of a uh, skating park at a community um, right next to where I work. So, look at it. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's so fun. So, yes, pick, pick up ideals whenever you can. This was fun. I saw someone else, and I can't remember who it was, but somebody else posted that they had picked some of these up at a thrift shop. And they're um, copyright-free or royalty-free designs. Um, you can certainly use what's in the book, but there's also a CD in them. So you can use the images over and over and over again. And there's so many wonderful images in here leaves and acorns and trees and pine cones and I just thought it was really really cool another neat find now don't judge me <laughs> I found in a booth a little cache of um, viewmaster reels I wish my mom would have kept my Viewmaster reels when I was a kid. I had just oodles of them, and I even had Viewmaster reels that were my dad's when he was a kid that were of, like, Roy Rogers and stuff like that. What's this one? Lassie and Timmy. Um, Switzerland ones. That one's full of them. What is this? Heidi. Mammoth Cafe, I almost said cafe. <laughs> I wonder if there is a cafe there. Mammoth Cave National Park, the Badlands. Somebody took a trip out west. Pikes Peak. I bet these are beautiful too. I might want to actually look at them before I, but some of these will go on my Etsy shop too. Rainier National Park, Children's Zoo, San Diego Zoo. Cool. So, yeah, I grabbed these. Love them. Love them. My husband's lucky he found me when he did. So, look at these. I thought these were just adorable. These are little itty bitty old maid cards and there's all these fun characters lawyer mike what is this if anybody knows what this is i saw this earlier char lady lil 
Can you see that? There we go. Sorry, I wasn't hold this, holding this very closely. Secretary Lily, Auto Worker Cal, Lecturer Jack. These are just funny images, I thought. Fireman Wally, Teacher Terry. But I kind of fell in love with them because the images are so tiny. Aviator Fred, Boomstick Morris. Cowgirl Wendy. I don't know. I thought they were super cute. So that was fun. Here's a deck of Whitman cards. They're not opened. I'm not going to struggle with the box right now, but I'm hoping you can see the image. Pretty. These I got because we have four dogs. And I thought they were cool because it's dogs and it's advertising cards. And um, they're all the same images. But we, um, we breed one of our dogs. It's a um, small Munsterlanda. It's a German hunting dog. So we get a little dog crazy over dog things. But I'll be sharing some of those. These are some... Hold on here. This pack is unopened here of iris cards. These are purple ones. And here's some green ones. How pretty. Very pretty. So those are some iris cards. And then there were some daisy playing cards. I love picking up things with flowers. I like gardening. Here are some more flower. Oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Some more flower cards. If I could get them open. What did you say those flowers are? Are they um, hyacinths? Or does it say? Spring lilacs. Oh, pretty. So there's those. These I thought were cool. I got a ton of these, and all the prints are different. I think there's like 50 in here. These are those iron-on transfers, and I like to use these in crafting or sewing theme journals. But as I was looking at these, I got to thinking, I wondered if any of you have ever actually tried to iron on the transfer onto paper. So if anybody has done that, let me know. So I'm really curious and I think I may give that a whirl. But there's so many ways you could use this. You could use it just as a page insert itself. And now I think this one is a duplicate of the one we just looked at. Um, you could put them on something and decoupage them on or glue them on. That's pretty. Bluebells, poppies, birds. So I'm not going to show them all to you, but um, there's quite a variety in this pack. There's a lot of them. So some of these will be going on my Etsy shop. There's that. Got some, I keep bumping this, I'm so sorry. Some bridge tally and score cards. My husband found these, he was proud of himself that he found something that I <laughs> thought that I would like. Because at first when he was trying to help me, he didn't, he didn't get it. Bless his heart, but he was getting better and better as we were combing through. These are all of the same image here. I kind of like these. I already honestly used these in the journal I was working on last night. Look at these. 
Is that fun? Little squirrel. Oh, here's another one. Oh, he's he's a busy squirrel. He's doing all kinds of things. <laughs> so there's the squirrel ones and these. And then these. So sweet. It just feels like it's a of a of days gone by. Does anyone play bridge anymore? No one in my family plays bridge. Sheep's head is a big game. This is not old, but but fun. A pilot log book. And the paper is strong paper, but it's an in interesting texture. But I thought that would be interesting in journals. Travel journals or... Hmm. So, very cool. So, that's fun. Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> so I got some postcards. Isn't that pretty? Can you see that without the glare? Cool. Does it say what year? Oh, I can't see it. It's printed in Germany. Christmas one. I got several Christmas ones. I might scan these and put them in my Etsy. I have some other ones at home too that I should scan. Look at, doesn't that look just so welcoming? Warm. Does this give a year? Nope. So I thought those are, I like to pick those up. These are little cards. I was just really curious about these. They're just little place cards. They're all the same image, so they're little butterflies. Pretty. I thought this was funny. They're vintage doilies, but they're called royalies. <laughs> they're both the same. There's two packs of them here. But aren't they pretty? They're so delicate. I wonder how these would coffee stain. Very pretty. I went a little nuts on little golden books, but they had a ton of them. A ton of little golden books. So I got Prayers for Children, and some of these will go on the Etsy too. I hope this is, you don't have a glare. Country Mouse and the City Mouse. Scuffy the Tugboat. And they're in good condition. And this one, what's the copyright? 1950, no, excuse me, renewed 74. So this is 74. What's this one? 80. So some of these are a little newer. Jingle Bells. This one is 64. The new puppy. Of course, it's dogs. Just speaks to me. I love when someone writes in there. This one's got little tears here and there. Got another one. The new baby. When you were a baby. Aww. All right, that's my golden book collection from yesterday. I picked up indoor plants. I love cutting these images out and using them in journals. Pretty, it's chock full of them. So that was a good find. This I got, I have in my head a journal that I want to do, or maybe a couple of them. This is from 1948, a farm journal. I want to do some farm journals um but the images in here and the ads in here look at that are wonderful i didn't realize that the farm journal okay call me goofy but i thought it was more related to 
the farmer versus what in those days may have been the farm wife. But it looks like it was intended maybe for the entire family because there's um, cooking recipes in here, images of ladies and them working in the kitchen. But then also, I love this font. Um, see, here's what I'm talking about. Ranges with images of ladies. But then you can turn the page. Let's see, look at here. What does it take to be a model mother? Can <laughs> you see that? If anybody figures that one out, let me know. Apparently, it, it just took this toothpaste to be a model mother. But there's also things in here then, look at, patterns. And then, of course, now I can't find it when I want to, but here now all of a sudden we've got an ad for weed killer. So I, I found it to be a very interesting publication. I thought some of the pages and images would be really neat in a farm journal. Hence the name, I guess. So that was fun. Um, last but not least, I found this. Now I have no idea how old this game would be, but it's got the game cards in here and the little pieces. So, I mean, this could be used and used and used in a journal and I thought that it was really fun. I did not see any kind of a date or anything, but if anybody does know what the date of something like this might be, I'd, I would just be curious, let me know. Um, but I'll probably share some of these also in my Etsy shop because I should only hoard hoard so much. So I want to thank you for joining me in going through my haul today. I had a ball. I hope you enjoyed looking at it. I hope it gave you some ideas on things that you can use in your journals. I'm going to be posting a video soon on a sewing theme journal that I'm working on that I may have gone a little crazy on um, embellishing and putting pockets and ephemera in. <laughs> it's getting a little chunky. It's a little chunky monkey, but I'll post that. So watch for that video. Again, I'm Lisa. Thank you for joining Junk Journal Gems.